this is how you do an angle in here. I'm just going to do a little bit of it. And I've got the mud on here like this. And I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to slide it in there like that. And, and uh, I'm going to do both sides and I just kind of play it out as I go. Okay, I'll put more mud on this side now. There again, I'm just kind of laying it in there. This is a really, in my opinion, a pain in the fanny to do it this way, but you know, not, not many of you people have banjos or bazookas and all that kind of stuff. You see how messy it is? That's okay, just leave it messy. That's just the way you do it. And then you come in here. You don't need to pre-fold this thing or anything else. Unless you're just wasting your time doing that. Just jam it in there. You got the mud. Now I'm trying to get it centered. And this is how you guys would do it if you, like I said, if you didn't have the, the tools. And there again, if it's too long, it doesn't matter. You can fix that later. And then your process is very similar to the other way I did it. Come in here. I start the center. It worked my way up that way. I want to clean it up really nice. But what I'm looking for is little areas in here where I got bubbles. I don't want those bubbles. And then I'm cleaning it up there. And now that joint looks just as good as if, uh, if I'd have done it with my banjo. It, it, it works perfect. It's just messier than heck. But, you know, that, that's what you got to do if you don't have the tools. You can do your flat joints the same way. I'm going to show you how to... Here's a flat joint right here. Now I'm going to do this just to show you how to do it if, if you don't have your banjo. There again, I'm using a 5-inch knife. I come here. I know that's where it's at. I come across here. And I lay that mud in there. And then I come across, and I'm not wiping it off, I'm just making the mud flat. And there again, I never do it this way because I've got the right tools to do it, uh, you know, a lot faster. But there again, if you don't have the tools, and then I try to pull this across there, and then you got the same process. Now you could use an 8 inch knife, I'm going to use my 5. Same thing, I come across here. It, the reason I like my 8 inch knife is very flexible. And this 5 inch is not quite as flexible as an 8 inch. So you can't do quite as good of a. It's just not as easy. But that's how you do it. And you just come across and, you know, look for your blobs of blood here and there and uh, clean it up. That's how you do your flats. Okay, I'm going to do a ceiling area. It doesn't matter if it's a full length or, or what. Ceilings are always done similar. Now because this is just one joint right here, or one area, I'm going to do it all at once so that when I get down off my ladder, I can go ahead and uh, come, yeah, I don't have to come back up here again. You bring this out here like this, and I snap it. Like that, and that kind of just holds it right up there. If, if you pull that back and, and snap it, the mud, uh, your tape will fall back down all over your place. That's one of the things beginners do is they don't realize you need to snap it to keep it up there. If you don't snap it, oh man, I'm telling you, it's frustrating. It flops all over you and you feel like quitting. But if you snap it, this stays. Again, like I said, I'm doing it all right now so that I don't have to come back up here later. And then you wipe it down just like I did the other one. But that's how you got to do 